level of anti-Semitism, anti-Zionism, overall hatred for Israelis throughout the world is a clear sign of the Antichrist spirit growing rapidly. It's satanic, it's demonic. And Christians who are being deceived by QAnon and replacement theology, um, false pastors, false prophets, better wake up, better wake up. Because at the end of the day, the Bible made it clear that we as Christians must always pray for the Jews' salvation. Paul the Apostle made it clear that they will never be replaced. As a matter of fact, in the end, all of Israel will be saved. We are not supposed to despise or hate the, the Israelis. We are supposed to pray for their salvation. Jesus himself on the cross said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Jesus forgave his own people. Yet people continue spewing despicable rhetoric all over social media and saying, but the Israelis don't like Christians and they did not like Jesus. Jesus knew that and yet he said, forgive them. And a lot of these people that are saying that are supposedly Christians, but all of a sudden Christians, Christians know that we're supposed to forgive, you know, but not the Jews. Don't forgive the Jews. But you see, of course, that is a lie from Satan that, that many pastors have been feeding into the minds of Christians for generations. Um, this, the, the, the counterfeit religions that Satan has made for the past couple thousand years, the mix of Christianity is what the Pope is trying to unite. And one Pope, one of these days, a Pope will end up being the false prophet, the right-hand man to the Antichrist, to the Antichrist. And the time of the Antichrist rising seems to be closer and closer every day. These wars are leading up to the um, Ezekiel war. And therefore, the time of the rise of the Antichrist would be most likely somewhere very soon thereafter. Christians better wake up. Wake up and stop being deceived by QAnon and Russians on all these false prophets. Stop encouraging um, these other religious people to spew hatred towards the Jews because God's promise could never be, be broken. He said, those who bless Israel will be blessed. Those who curse Israel will be cursed. Do not bring curses upon yourself and your families.